I'm Willie Howe. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification icon down below so you can be notified when I release a new tips, tricks, or tutorial video. So I appreciate each and every one of you hanging in here with me while I get things kind of organized and get back on track and get back to some of the other videos. So tonight what we're going to talk about, we're leading into that subnet primer that everybody wanted to see. But then I saw some other comments that really wanted to know what is a VLAN. Well, before we can get to what a VLAN is, we need to find out what is a network. So a network is a group of devices, a group of things that, that want to talk together. So it could be cameras, laptops, printers, all of those devices that need to talk. And in modern communications, we we have computer networks. We have all different kinds of computer networks. In fact, if you have your cell phone in your pocket, you are you are you are part of the network. Uh, so, really, you have a network. You have many different types of networks. You have LANs, WANs, MANs, CANs, PANs, all of those things. WLANs. So, to really talk about what a VLAN is. First, we're going to talk about a local area network or a LAN, right? So it's a local area network. I should have been a doctor. So uh, a local area network is a group of devices on a network that usually is in the same building or a very small geographic area. And within a LAN, then, well, and even on a WAN, but we are specifically talking about LANs, then you can have a VLAN, and that is a virtual local area network. I do apologize for my handwriting. Like I said, I should have been a doctor. Um, so we have a virtual local area network. Well, how does that work? Well, first of all, you have to have equipment that will recognize a VLAN. All of your networking equipment is going to recognize at least the LAN, the local area network. It's going to have an IP. Not all equipment, not all switches sold still today can recognize VLAN tags. So uh, the best way that I know to, in this drawing, to represent a VLAN. So let's say, and we're going to muddle uh, physical with virtual. Okay, so let's say that this is your Ethernet cable. Let's say that this is your, you know, your Cat 5e, Cat 6, whatever. Use your imagination. Okay? If you've got just one network, it gets to take up this whole, this whole uh, segment of cat 5e so but let's say we want to add another department and we want to start adding security and things like that well then we need a virtual local area network to logically segment those networks they can both physically share the same cabling physically share the same switches share the same router but we need a vlan a virtual local area network so we can start that segregation so by default your untagged VLAN is going to be VLAN number one, or your untagged VLAN. What we're going to do is we're going to pretend that we're going to put three departments on this physical network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the power of VLANs. So this guy is going to be VLAN number one, or our untagged VLAN, our default VLAN by default. And we can also change that, but that's another subject. Then I've got VLAN number two, and let's say that's marketing. And then VLAN number three, let's say that that is accounting. So you have to have equipment that supports all of this. And you've seen, as we've talked about unifying the setup, uh, that you can have these different VLANs. So once we have VLANs, it accomplishes a couple of things. First of all, we don't always have to use a slash 24 for a network, and we're going to get into that in the subnet 
uh, primer where it used to be you had to use classful networking. Well, now we can use variable length subnet masks, so it is a non-issue. But now that we have VLANs 1, 2, and 3, and of course this is our untagged, our default. I'm just going to shade this guy in. It's our untagged number one. So we've got two and three, but now what we're able to do, since this is actually a virtual network, even though it's on the same physical hardware, is we can do things like set access control lists. It also limits the amount of broadcast traffic that uh, goes outside of these networks because a router will actually stop uh, broadcast traffic. So anything that's broadcasting inside number uh, VLAN number two is not going to affect VLAN number three or the default VLAN. Like I said, we can use access control lists. We can do firewall rules between the networks. And you'll see that if you go back and look at some of the other videos we put in, like our IoT video, we put in the firewall rules to keep the IoT VLAN from getting to any of these other networks. So a VLAN is a virtual local area network, and it allows you to use the same physical network and do a virtual network on top of it, and that allows us to do this segmentation and it has a lot of security benefits it has a lot of network traffic management benefits and so that's it and, and when you look at your equipment make sure that it you know it talks about 802.1q tagging so that's that's uh, the vlan standard um or it may say vlans or you know something like that maybe maybe may mention uh layer two but we as we're going forward and even looking in the videos, sometimes we'll do just a flat setup with one network, but a lot of times we are creating other VLANs or other networks, and this is how we're gonna do it. So that is what a VLAN is. That's a little bit of what it can do for you. If you've got any comments about what else a VLAN can do besides what we talked about, make sure you put it down there in the comments. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you've got any other suggestions before we get to some of these, uh, the VLAN or the uh, subnetting primer and uh, we're gonna spin up that BBS software and I've got some other really cool technical stuff coming. If you've got any suggestions for videos you want to see, put them down there in the comments. Once again, I'm Willie. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form and someone will be with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. If you'd like to talk to us on Discord, the link is down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks, that link is down below. If you'd like to order any of the equipment you see here on the channel, our Amazon affiliate link is down below and all of our affiliate links are down there. It doesn't change your price at all, but it does kick a couple bucks to the channel to keep things rolling in. So I want to thank you once again. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.